and he wants to go higher all right guys uh, so we're gonna do the recap for today uh, first of all the lessons that I want to talk about is guys do not use the market order and always use the marketable limit order uh, in the chat room uh, this morning uh, it's not in the chat room the pre-market I wanted to, to buy some TQQ and uh, I pressed the market order usually the market orders automatically became limit order but uh, in uh, here in this particular case uh, I got filled looks the I got filled at 117 and that was uh, that was really really painful that uh, you know I got uh, I got some filled at 111 and then 112 the price was here I said you know what this is a really good one and then I got filled at 117 so you gotta be really careful not to use market order this kind of uh, um, this kind of slippage is gonna really destroy you so uh, you know imagine if you are you know, sometimes it happens in the market open to especially the low liquid uh, uh, trades and low volume trades so it's always use the marketable limit order if I had a marketable limit order I wouldn't get filled like that so you know there was a limit five ten cents uh, do that you know Carl uh, that's the thing uh, you can't that's why I went by switched it to usually if you use it in IB they automatically change it to limit order and for the limit order they use just the first ask uh, sorry first bid but in this particular case, they, I don't know what they did with my order. The routing would be probably different. And, you know, as you see how, how I got filled and, you know, I'm, it's just a really bad situation. But anyway, so that's what that was a lesson that I just wanted to mention that, you know, we got to be careful. At least I made history. I'm in the bad print of one stock. Um, <clears throat> it happened actually in the past to me. So I had a pretty, pretty solid day, um, you know, the really, really solid day. So I had a really bad loss on AMC at the open. Um, but uh, eventually survived that and uh, you know closing the day very solid I'm gonna explain that to you uh, what we did exactly so AMC is a meme stock that we did uh, really at the open uh, um, you know everyone knew about that uh, AMC has been active really for the last couple of weeks you know it's just amazing trades really well the volume is really great and if you can find a good pattern on it it's just uh, unbelievable that you can trade so at the open what happened was uh, <clears throat> you know it was red and came up and it was really nice and decent for opening range breakup again it was we were going toward this uh, 65 high uh, that uh, you know we can get the breakout at the open it really really uh, in the first minute uh, you know I was expecting it to for you know breakout of either this level or this level but unfortunately in the first minute went up so fast and that I didn't take it to the one minute opening range break up. I realized that this might be a little bit too extended. It did pop up, but really came back. On the pullback, I added it in the long, but I just didn't like the fact that uh, it wasn't really going up. So I got out uh, really fast on it. Sold off and I saw that selling off with the heavy volume, I decided to take the trade short for a red to green. And uh, you know, I took short uh, heavy size and uh, you bounce back and I say, you know what? It's just a small bounce. I added a little bit more here below the VWAP. Then we popped up and I it really claimed the VWAP and I really got uh, scared and I got stopped out with a really, really bad loss on it on 62. So that was the first trade that the break even came out. This was a short that I added a couple of times. And again, this is another example that don't try to add on a losing position. You know, I never added on above the VWAP just because as soon as it came above the VWAP, I, I realized that, okay, this is going to be a disaster. You know, definitely you don't want to add short here and here, here, just because you had a bad entry below the VWAP. So I've got to stop that quickly below the VWAP. And uh, yeah, I was really in a mental mess here, but I realized that it's going to go for the breakout. And again, AMC was, has been strong in the last couple of days. I started adding heavily at 62 all the way up to 63 for the breakout of the high of the day. High of the day at that time was 63.20. It did break out all the way up to 64. I added one more time as well. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, so it came up, I added more, popped up, sold, and eventually I got stopped out. I got short by mistake here that I covered quickly with a small loss. I mean, like a couple of hundred shares, I got short, probably I pressed too much. And, um, you know, I wasn't patient enough to get that. You know, I was just happy to be out, uh, you know, green in that day because this loss was really, really bad loss. This was a really bad loss. And in this trade was just enough for me to make me green for the day. And I said, you know what, I'm not gonna touch that again. And I put the handcuffs on. It did eventually break out toward the 64.76 and then I did it one more time, actually a couple more times. <laughs> uh, I did it one more time long uh, after it came down to the brought the VWAP at 64 to break out to the 64.76. And then, uh, so yeah, I was done with my day and then turned out to be really showing some weakness. I did try to trade it short a couple of times. 
um, which I really shouldn't have that, those shorts, but uh, you know that was this one was the first short that I did. I saw some weakness, and then I tried to go short here, but I got cold hand and I got out. And you know, after as soon as I got out, you know, the drop happened, and after it really collapsed uh, this um, uh, you know moving averages below the weave app, I went short one more time in this trade that uh, covered all the way up to the previous day close. Never went red for a day, and then eventually I got out. So you know, one, two, three short here i had and then i had a couple of trades on it so it might be it might look a little bit messy but it wasn't really that top of, that much of a mess you know looking at it uh you know if i want to put some box here for you guys it you know that's one trade that can break even that was my bad loss here and this was a green day a green trade this was a green trade this was a short this was also another short and this was another short so that was one two three four five six seven trade which is a lot for uh for a trader like me uh so that was my mc brian what did you do on amc <clears throat> um I, I just sort of scalped in sort of your position most of my uh, attention was on uh, clne i just uh played that from the open perfect got a nice move up through uh through twelve dollars so yeah the only other that trade sort that of, I did, you know, yeah, go, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say you only, you only need one really good mover. You, you know, just focus your attention on that if you're in a, if you're in a good a tra stock that's trading well. Yeah. Don't, you know, make it complicated and start to trade different stocks. <clears throat> yeah, and then uh, CLNE was also another trade that uh, was really decent. Uh, Brian called it at the open for open range breakup. That was a really nice one, and uh, we did uh, trade it as a. I traded as a one minute opening range break up. You know, sold off at the open a little bit, came back up. We saw really bounce back like a fallen angel. I went long at 1170, popped up toward 12, sold. And then on the pullback, I added the game back at 1190 for the next pop to 1225. And then I got out of it. And uh, that was it. I never really traded it. It's all one trade. So long, sold, sold, add on the pullback, sold, sold, sold. And then I got, I stopped out of the break even. So that was uh, some, something that the Brian, uh, I think Brian, you traded the gain at 12 here for the breakout, yes? Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I added back on a pullback, add a little more on a pullback there. Yeah, perfect. <coughs> yeah, so that was it. Uh, yeah. um, so AMC turned out to be uh, really fun. And then it, uh, AMC bounced back uh, <clears throat> from, uh, you know, the previous day close, did this uh, lightning bolt pattern yeah. that uh, Peter has. You know, and uh, you know, I kind of knew it's, it could be a good long, but I just don't want to trade it anymore because I'm done with my day. And uh, yeah, so that was uh, that turned out to, uh, that loss at the open was really bad. <coughs> sorry, I used a little bit of F42. I'm so sorry. It's just uh, uh, I really didn't see that one coming. Uh, any question from the chat, guys? Any trade that anyone wants to share? Um, yeah, New York City Meetup, guys. Uh, so go to the forum, New York City Meetup. Um, I'm going to have a, probably a Denver Meetup too next week. I'm uh, booking my tickets now. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Mike, Oregon's Meetup next week as well. So we have a bunch of Meetups are coming. We're going to have a Lower Mainland Meetup as well soon, hopefully. And then um, uh, in Vancouver. Uh, right now, Jared is having the Market and Crypto Mentorship Session at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Right now, is in the webinar room. Uh, Jared, as you know, is investing on crypto assets as well. So that's, uh, that would be really nice. And uh, um, that's a really nice trade on AMC by Cole. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Any question, guys? Anything? In general about life well we appreciate guys that like and subscribe to our channel if you have any question please comment and it's just not really cool that I don't get that many likes on my videos uh, um, you know it's just not cool that Thor and Kitchen's <laughs> video or, and John's video are getting really that much of a like and love uh, it's just not really cool guys uh, <clears throat> I'm hurt happy Father's Day to all the uh, fathers out there i know that we all do support for the family and <coughs> this is not an easy career i know you're trying hard not for yourself but for families and sacrifice kudos to you <coughs> and um yeah brian anything from you you are the father i know uh, i am the father yeah their hands are in your pocket so <laughs> any <laughs> yeah exactly yeah <laughs> Happy father, I have to, have to buy them houses now. 
<laughs> they can't afford they can't afford it in Vancouver. So exactly. that's yeah. where my all my money goes. <laughs> anyway, well, happy um, Father's Day to you for trading, and uh, you and knew it <laughs> for your. Uh, yeah, I knew it. I knew it when I got into it. <laughs> all right, guys. So, uh, yeah, thank anyway. you so much, and uh, we're just heading off. Uh, ciao, guys. Have a good weekend.